just screw it. Okay, anyway, here they come. About to march out, everyone. How far do I travel to here? It takes me about 15 minutes, something like that. I live in central London, so it's not, not terribly far at all. Here we are. Look at that, a whole line of glorious red cloaks. Wow. How's about that, folks? Notice, folks, that actually there are two lifeguards, lady lifeguards, on duty here. I thought there's only one, two. The so red just became even rarer. No, the boots are the same. The only thing that changes when the weather is treated like this, the only thing is the addition of the cloak. Yeah, two lady, two lady guards at the end. I didn't ever, ever remember seeing two female lifeguards at, what, at the same time uh, on duty here at King's. Extraordinary. Wow. No, they weren't on the horses the other day. You're getting mixed up with uh, the Blues and Royals. Um, there were two lady guards in the other regiment, and there was also a third inside, um, but that regiment left this morning. So this is a new regiment now. This is why they're wearing red and not navy. So quite a lovely thing to see. Isn't that? Uh, Fabian, no comment. You can draw your own conclusions from that. Let's just say that it has been known to happen. Uh, Liam, I don't know about when the Blues are back. They only left this morning, so the earliest they're going to be back, in my opinion, will likely be Friday. But I, I won't confirm uh, specific regimental changeovers now um, because I've had too many people turning up here uh, thinking they're just going to film it on the back of watching the live. So, nah, I'm going to keep it to myself. No, no, don't don't be sorry, Victoria. I understand entirely. Okay, let's wait for the captain. There we go. Bing bong. Here comes the captain. Guards, guards, Jen, the Harry, swords. Aha. It's going to be a good end of day inspection today, folks, and that's why. Captain is saying to him, if you don't follow London City Talks, you're going to get banned from Horse Guards. See? The reason the captain chuckling a little bit is the guard said to him, Sir, with due respect, we all follow London City Talks. are looking very sharp, aren't they? Very sharp. Could well be in uh, Milano or Roma, in fact, with all these uh, gloriously red clad guards. Looking very sharp. They're wearing their winter all-weather cloaks around it because it was raining here earlier. And luckily, they all decided to cloak up and give us a full inspection. 
with the weather cloaks. Yeah, it's long, long months since we saw this. I think that's why the captain's in a good mood. He knows that they look absolutely magnificent today. Get ready for those commands, folks. Now the horse's turn. Horses are scared after listening to that. Captain scared them. Yeah, he does have the best voice, folks, without a doubt. Horses like Captain, I'm sorry. But the horses just like, don't shout at me, please. It's not my fault I didn't comb my hair properly this morning. He's like, ah. What's that in your nostril, horse? Captain, I'm sorry. Look, that's why the horse's ears are back. He's like, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean it. But the horse is looking really bashful. He's just like, hopefully the captain's gonna forget about me. Look, at the back. He's like, oh no, don't, please, I'm sorry. The other horse forgot to use a conditioner. Look, so his, ha his hair's overly fluffy. Look, now the horses are chatting with each other. Like, oh God, it had to be this captain today, didn't it? Yeah, it's a pity, but here, there we are. The horses suddenly became, <laughs> those are the most sheepish looking horses I've ever seen. Look, you can see they're having a little chat, they're like, damn it, I can't believe we ran out of conditioner. So yeah, sorry about that. Captain's like, mm, not a bad effort, guys. That's quite the equine effort you put in. Okay, now he's going to terrify the life out of the horses. Get ready for it. Horses. Horsemen, on the right, on to the fire, and right, on the hill, on the No dismount. No dismount. Too wet. It's a smart decision. I think, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, ladies, but if this captain told you to do something in that voice, you'd do it, correct? No matter what it was. If it, even if he were, and he's not, even if he were the misogynistic type, and he said, ladies, where's my dinner? You'd be like, oh, oh no, we missed it. No way, no way. Yes, sir. Look at, hey, look at you ladies. You're like, yes, sir. We absolutely would, no matter what. Okay, that was interesting. The, the King's lifeguard, we just missed an absolute classic moment there. I'm gutted that we missed it. He just screamed, make way for the King's lifeguard, in the face of all those kids, and they didn't move, so he pushed through them. But we missed it. We missed it, ladies and gents. Regrettably, we missed it. Yeah. If they told me to undress, I would. Hey. What can I say about that? 